craziest thing that's been going on in the news. In 2017, a police officer shot a young kid uh, in the back of the head who died three days later in the hospital. Now, this was in 2017 that this happened. Now, a video popped up stating it's a total different, uh, I guess, a different topic or different view of what the police officer said versus what actually happened. So, um, are we okay? Okay. So, watch this video for yourself. Um, she, she's going to play it in the back of, of, of me. And as the video goes, I want you to really look at the, I think it's the left side. You don't really see the cop. He's in the corner of it. And uh, he shoots the kid. Isaiah Murrieta Golding never stood up again after the gunshot hit him in the back of the head. Police had tried to detain the 16-year-old a few minutes earlier in a shopping center parking lot near Sean Fresno. Walk backwards. Backwards. Towards my voice. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Down on your knees. Down on your knees. Police body camera footage shows Murrieta running away and an officer following. You can't see the chase end on this video, but you can hear it. <laughs> Murrieta had run to a daycare where surveillance video shows him jumping a fence and running again. He made it about eight steps before Officer Ray Villavaso fired the deadly shot. Officers thought the teen might be involved in a homicide the day before, and Villavaso reported Murrieta looked at him and reached for his waistband, so he feared for his life. Villavaso over there described being in fear for his life. There is no way that police officer was, was in fear of his life. That's a justification for the shooting, um, for his, the shooting that he committed here. Right, frankly, I think the killing that he did in this particular case. There was no reason for him to shoot that gun, none whatsoever. It makes me angry just to even look at this videotape. But fellow officers seem to approve. New police chief Andy Hall declined to comment for this story because of the pending lawsuits. But the city's Office of Independent Review, the OIR, found the shooting within policy. Quote, the reasonableness of force is based on the officer making a split-second decision after observing the suspect reaching for his waistband area several times during the foot pursuit. But that's just not what the law says. The law says that there has to be an immediate threat of death or serious bodily injury, which clearly there wasn't. This young man was trying to run away. And you can be as critical as you want about how you shouldn't do that. But that doesn't give the police the right to use lethal force. The OIR did recommend 10 policy changes, including putting body cameras on officers on the street violence team, like the one who shot and the one jumping the fence to chase. Those officers should also have less lethal weapons, according to the OIR. A jury is set to decide next year if the OIR was right to justify the shooting. If you can see how the kid flipped over the uh, gate and he got caught a little bit, so he got, you know, then he picked up his pants to run because these kids are always having saggy down pants. Picked up his pants to run, not even four to five steps. They shoot him. No, they didn't fall down. They shot him. That's what I'm saying. The cop that's in the corner. There's a cop that's in the corner of that gate. Shoots him. Puts the gun through the gate and shoots him. Later on, you, know, you, 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 you want to play the video again for, for them to see it. See what I'm talking about. But in the... Play the video again so they can see exactly if they can really see the corner. So you're going to probably have to rewind that that video they late uh before that the cops said he was wanted and he was known as having a gun later on they found out he wasn't the one wanted it was his brother and they knew about it then he said he shot him there because he was endangering the public and that was a daycare not then they find out that it was a day before Easter, 
and it was on winding up on a Saturday on a weekend the daycare was closed for days because of the Easter holiday so that was scratched off so they didn't really do nothing to him since 2017 but now the video popped up so Isaac Gooden is he was 16 years old um, they're gonna charge the uh, cop with unlawful deadly force Assault and battery and negligence. Uh, they should charge a, a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know what the lawsuit is going to be. There's probably going to be a big lawsuit. But hey, that's what happens when you uh, try to mess with with your the law on your own in your own hands. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know why people do it. Cops cops are stressed. It's a stress job. I, I'm not sticking up for this cop because I do not know him, but I do know uh, a couple officers, and it's a stressful job. You know? It is a stressful job, so... But again, it goes back to if you don't have these officers who know the area and know the people, they get too scared too quick. You know what I'm saying? So... But 